Lesson 1, Quadratic Inequalities. In Part 1, solve the quadratic inequality x squared minus 4x is less than or equal to negative 3. What we need to do is to take that uh, negative 3 across to the other side and we set it up like this. So we have x squared minus 4x plus 3 is less than or equal to 0. Now, we need to factorise this, so that will become x. Now, plus 3 means it will be minus 3 and minus 1. Minus 3, minus 1. Just check, check this. Minus 3x and minus 1 is minus 4x, and minus 3 times minus 1 is plus 3. This is equal to 0. Now, at this stage, now I'm going to let y equal the left hand side and now over here I'll draw a little mini graph here now this will intercept the x-axis at x equals 1 and 3 so this is the x-axis and now we'll draw the, the parabola and the parabola goes through here like this being a positive one And you can see there that it'll be negative between the values of 1 and 3. And since y is, this is y, so y must be less than 0. So the values of x to satisfy this inequality must be that x will lie between 1 and 3. And that's the solution. Lesson 1, Quadratic Inequalities, Part 2. We have to solve the quadratic inequality. 12 minus x squared is less than x. You'll notice here you've got a minus x squared on this side. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll take this across the other side, making that a positive x squared. This is a much easier way of doing it. So on the left-hand side, we'll have a 0. So 0 here. And that will be x squared, keeping it in order, plus x minus 12. And we'll just rearrange that, write that as x squared, it's easy to read, x squared plus x minus 12 is greater than 0. Factorising this, two numbers which multiply together will be minus 4 and 3, no, that will give us a negative x, so it'll be 4 and minus 3. Just make sure you get that around the correct way. It's easy to make that mistake. And then a final check, 4x and minus 3x. Yep, we get our plus x here. And 4 times minus 3 is the minus, minus 12. All right, again, I'll let y equal x plus 4 times x minus 3. Draw a little sketch graph over here. So the intercepts will be at 3 and minus 4. So a minus 4 here and a 3. And we've made this a positive parabola, so it'll go this way. And again, we note that we want this y. See, so y is going to be positive. And it'll be positive up here and positive over here. Now, this means that the solutions to this uh, inequality we that x is less than minus 4 or x is greater than 3 as your final solutions.